Hello, everybody, all over the world. And oh, what's this? We're gonna do a high tutorial today. Yes, I got asked if uh, somebody had any tips for how to be a better sniper, so I thought I'd share my experiences as a sniper. I'm a main sniper, been a sniper for a pretty long time. Um, I can say that uh, if you want to be a good sniper, you have to be good as other classes as well. You just can't start, you know, uh, right off as sniper because you won't really know how the game works. But that's not going to be the topic today. The topic it today is going to just be just basic aim stuff, pretty much. So I'm on a map here called TR Walkway, and uh, this is basically bots just running around. Uh, they all currently have the same speed, and since there are bots and they're running like this, sometimes the hitboxes are glitched. And you can see that I don't have my, like, I hide my uh, rifle. That's a command I do because, as you can see, it takes up a lot of, like, a lot of space. And if I look like this, I won't actually be able to see it, you know, the, the stair. So that's why I have it off. But I do have it on for Jirati and Bushwacker because that is my combination. So this map has a lot of varieties. So we're just going to look at that today. We're just going to look at basic stuff. So basically, uh, what you need to do in order to be a good sniper is to have good aim. Uh, that is one of the things you need. You need like good positioning and good strategy and stuff like that as well. So we're gonna look at right now is the tracing aim. The tracing aim is the aim you're able to trace your target. So let's see. I'm just gonna follow this soldier here, and I'm just gonna be tracing him like this as long as I can, just keeping my crosshair on him like this. This is a good uh, exercise you can do just by tracing. It's a good way to start to figure out if your sensitivity is correct for you and your settings. If you have troubles just tracing targets, uh, you might adjust your uh, sense settings so they go better. So we can try tracing in scope with the next target that spawns uh, the furthest away here. Let's see, there's a spy here. Just try and trace him like this, trying to keep it on the head. And eventually you run out of uh, space on your mouse mat, but you will have pulled the trigger for them then. So yes, there we go. Headshot but registered as a body shot. So this is a map where you can train a lot of stuff. So you can just focus on tracing and then pulling the trigger when you're comfortable. Just taking your time, that is important in the beginning to just line up those shots and get those headshots. If you shoot too early, you're gonna probably miss. And also it's important to note that body shots are really, really good. All right, now they're just running straight forward. It's very uh, predictable in that fashion. But look at this pyro. It's gonna take more than one headshot to kill him. So we just shoot once. Okay, we body shot him there, but uh, we're gonna headshot him, taking him out. Nice. Let's see the next class that has. Uh... And also being fully charged like this also helps because then you can just do one headshot and completely miss your target and fuck up everything. And you can miss again. And then you can eventually hit. Yes, good. So let's see, where's the soldier? Let's see, if this soldier comes soon, I wanna shoot a soldier because he has more than 150 health. And, oh, there he is. So. God damn it. Headshot. Body shot, come on. Yes. Good. So, uh, that is one thing. So let's change all the classes into scouts. And let's look at the tracing for scouts. Because scouts are pretty hard to shoot. But I love shooting scouts because I have the most uh, practice shooting scouts. So you hit this for only scouts. Uh, works with every single class except heavy. And then we turn up the speed to medic speed, scout speed, jet speed. Alright, cool. And this is a bit hard because they just move insanely fast. All right, just to turn it down. Cool. All right, scout speed. So they move pretty fast. This is the way they do. So let's just uh, focus on the tracing here. If you have troubles tracing scouts, you might want to adjust your settings. When you see I, my mouse stops, it's because I've actually run out of my mouse pad. So let's see, just tracing, 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 and eventually headshot. So that is the basic trace stuff. Uh, it's pretty uh, standard. It's uh, One thing that's hard about Trace is if your target suddenly moves. Tracing is great when they're just running in a straight line because you can just adjust, fine tune your aim and just shoot eventually either body shot or headshot. Doesn't really matter. Because keep in mind, as a sniper, you do not always need to get the headshots. Keep in mind, you do about 60 damage, 66 damage there, charge a little longer, and you do about 100. So let's see here. Let's uh, adding some strafing back and forth side to side at short strafes because that's pretty hard to do because it's very um, not very predictable and as you can see they don't lose any velocity when they turn so it's like really hard to actually hit it's like unnaturally hard and you can see like trying to trace at, oh, oops, trying to chase at this point is pretty hard but uh, here comes the next thing with positioning 
Like, in order to remove one, uh, like, uh, dimension, you can actually just place yourself on the ground and you will actually can actually just move back and forth. So, it's easiest to snipe when your target is, like, same level as you, like, right in front of you. And this is really hard because they're not that easy to hit. And even if you hit them, you might not even hit because they're bots and the hitboxes are a bit weird. There we got one. Two. Uh, we actually hit him, I think. Yeah, he has blood on his cap. No damage, as you can see. Yes. So, uh, there's something called Twitch Aim, which is basically you trace your target and then you just put your mouse, uh, no, your crosshair in front of everything and then you just pull the trigger like that. So you trace this and put it a little in front and you shoot. So let's see if I can turn off the, uh, the, um, the strafing here so I can show you a proper Twitch. Let's see. Yes. Bots don't strafe. Cool. So a twitch shot is eventually you aim at your target, but they're moving in such a way that tracing them is not really the best choice. So you just move your your uh, crosshair in front of them and then pull the trigger like this kind. Of. It's a bit hard to do. It takes a lot of practice, and it works better in the field. So let's see here. Twitch shot is like this. I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating right now, but it's like like that. You see a lot of. Uh, you'll eventually start doing that because people have like a predictable pattern. It is easiest if you. If they're on like straight line like this, and you just go. That is a twitch shot. Missed. There you go. Bit exaggerated because usually you just do like this, and as soon as you stop moving your uh, crosshair, you uh, you will hit them. So that's that's the uh, gist about that. And also, uh, not to uh, men to mention again, the body shot is extremely important because uh, you know body shots are good. They do 50 damage plus minus. So keep in mind, just killing a scout is one body shot, two body shot, come on, three body shot, dead, good. So yeah, that's going to be that for now. So keep in mind, tracing scouts, you should be able to do that uh, with your settings. Trace every single class, in fact, not just uh, anyone's, because I used to play sixes in Korea, and there's a lot, there's always scouts in sixes. And if you can't kill those scouts, you're going to have a hard time. So I have my sensitivity really high. I can like turn around like this, no problem. Let's see, I have a... Crap, that was my remote. Everything's fine, don't worry. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, as for mouse settings, I can show you those. Uh, three, and I use raw input, so... Uh, it's like the direct input from the mouse uh, overrides by... Uh, windows and everything. And acceleration is because I want to be able to... To, like, barely move my mouse like this, and then being able to move it really fast, like that. Yes. So that's going to be it. Uh, this, uh, I guess this map is good if you want to just work on your tracing, just to see if you can follow uh, classes uh, back and forth. Uh, but I do not recommend this for sniper practice because the bots are, you know, running in predictable fashions they, and they don't shoot back. And that's the biggest thing about snipers. Keep in mind, when you're a sniper, people will shoot you and you don't have a lot of health. So this has been a short tutorial. Uh, so basically standing atop, above your target like this and aiming down is hard. Like this, because if they move back and forth, they have like multiple dimensions they move in. But if you're here, you eliminate that and you can shoot them pretty easily. So that's been a high tutorial on sniper aim for now. And uh, if you want to see Twitches like uh, done properly, you can watch some of my own competitive plays. I have uh, Twitches a lot there. And sometimes you'll see like a sniper be like, I have to hit this guy. I'll just bah! And then they either miss or they hit. It's kind of like luck based, especially when they have do like out of this and just. Like this yeah cool so yeah being able to trace headshot is good anything else I had something else I wanted to see oh yes uh, don't use the Razorback ever either use Jurati or SMG um, and I can tell you the difference between SMG and Jurati Jurati uh, is more like if your team is very competent it can help your team a lot but it won't help you solo um, very much and SMG actually helps you, like, in duels. It's a very, very good weapon, like, headshot, and then finish them off with the SMG. Yeah, and one thing I saw some people in the chat, yeah, it's about being tense and being nervous and all that stuff. Uh, don't be, you know, take your time, be relaxed, play some relaxing music, and just take your time. Uh, like, the headshot's supposed to come as a surprise. You don't, you should keep breathing and just relax and be like, yeah, there's two headshot here. Oh, I missed. All right, that's fine. Just gonna shoot again. Just getting the next headshot. Let's see. You live. How you die. Stuff like that. Yeah, so that's been a high tutorial. Uh, keep in mind, take steady. And uh, the thing about speed when it comes to reflexes, that's one last thing I want to note, is that 
don't worry about your speed because that will come natural as long as you just keep practicing. Just make sure you hit your shots because if you shoot too early, you won't be able to hit them. And also shooting jumping targets can be uh, fun. It can, it's very challenging, but it's easy if they have like a predictable pattern. Uh, like these guys do. Bam. Yes, thank you for watching. I'm GPS and it was a high tutorial on sniping.